What's up everybody, Hawk out here, and I got a special unboxing for you, but first, Happy New Year, it's the first video of 2019, just after midnight, but I got the quad box, mystery micro quad box, so if you're on quad box, you know that they had a special promotion, 90 bucks, get a whole kit, everything you need to build a 2S micro brushless whoop so I'm gonna unbox it for you and I haven't seen it yet so we'll experience it together well alright here we go mystery micro quad box first sighting for me still sealed so we can uh, be surprised together So if you're not sure what quad box is, it's a monthly subscription. Usually you get a t-shirt, a uh, boost item, which is basically a guaranteed part for your quad motors, flight controller, and they usually have a tool, some stickers, and a few other goodies, and it's like 50 bucks or something. But it ain't bad price. I am subscribed to quad box and they just came out with a newer version where you don't need to get a t-shirt, it's $20 less and I think you can get the smallest quad box down to $17.99 and uh, you're just getting your stickers and your essentials but it's a good deal and uh, I recommend checking them out I'm not sure if that's the right way on the camera but hopefully it is alright so here we go Mystery Unraveled. All right. So right off the bat, first thing I see is Beta FPV. So I can safely assume we got a Beta FPV 2S brushless whoop here. And that's pretty exciting because BDF PV makes a pretty solid product. Good sticker sheet, your info to your manual. Who needs that? <clears throat> Alright. So, they got us with all this nice Happy New Year confetti. Happy New Year! <laughs> we got a bag of push on beta FPV props. We have looks like some sort of terminal connection. Maybe for VTX. Can't really see the other side without opening it. But you know it's one of you know what that is? I think that's where you solder on Maybe a receiver? We'll see with the manual. Maybe I do need it. <laughs> Alright. So we got a little box. A little box. A bunch of little boxes here. A beta FPV. Frame. Oh wow, look at that battery holder. That's nice. Oh, this is the LED board for the back. That's what that is. That's what I don't reckon. I figured it out. Because it's kind of like the trash can. It has a nice little rear LED light in the frame. That's pretty cool. And you got your uh, classic blue Beta FPV canopy pretty cool pretty cool weird uh, weird crease on the front do you guys have that <clears throat> all right let's check out what's in the little boxes put the confetti New Year's confetti aside Alright, so 
So let's start with this one. 2S Whip Drone Parts. This is the battery. So this is the 2S 350 milliamp XT30 connection. It's a nice little battery. I wonder if there's a way I could mod this to be in the in the uh, Mobula. Well, while I got, get you guys on uh, camera here, I just got my uh, V2 Mobula frame in. Seem, doesn't seem much more I guess it seems a little more flexible but I definitely like the uh, the black on black on black it's gonna it's gonna be pretty good I love my uh, 2S brushless whoops probably the closest thing you get to a 5 inch without destroying 5 inches alright so we got the battery See what we got here. Alright, another little beta FPV card. More links to more manuals that I may or may not use. Oh, this is where we got our camera. We also got a TPU camera mount. So that goes right up, up in the canopy, holds all your gear. Comes with a nice little uh, dipole antenna, nice and thick. Little, uh, I'm not sure what millimeter lens that is, but it's tiny. Oh, it comes with two. Uh, TPU mounts. This one's much nicer than this one. I'm not sure if there's a reason why they included two, but probably going to use the black one. This also seems more of a rubber. This is TPU. Let's see what else. Got a little, uh, little pin header here it looks like you can use the pin header instead of direct soldering nice little VTX camera setup Good stuff so far, good deal. Pretty excited to build this. Even though I'm still in the middle of a 5 inch build. But who else isn't, right? So we'll leave this out. Alright. I can't tell which one's the flight control. I think this is the flight controller. I'm gonna go with this. I think this is the flight controller. <clears throat> oh, I just notice. It says right here. I was right. More manual card. Alright, so I'm surprised how close this looks to uh, Mobula's board. But this is an F4, Mobula is only an F3 board, so we'll have the extra processing power, which will be nice. Oh, cool. So this is this is something I don't. I haven't seen yet. It's a uh, two-layer 
ESC flight controller combo which is, feels pretty solid in my hand and it has proper through hole connections for the uh, USB so still gotta be careful but probably don't have to worry about ripping it out as badly as the uh, Mobula you gotta be pretty careful on that one looks like we got some extra standoffs some extra headers you got your screws so that must mean motors are next I've been dying to see this little motor setup and if you know about the Mobula it has these uh, six what is it the 1600 kV motors and these actually yeah these motors are definitely smaller than what's going to be in this beta FPV Let's look, at, look at that mounting they're way different here we go motors it has less kV but the motor size should be making up for that and these are nice little motors I do wish they went with something other than push-on props I feel like uh, with the, the amount of power to weight ratio you're getting out of these little brushless motors I've seen people lose these push-on props just for flying they're not even crashing just zipping right off I haven't had any problems but every time I crash I check it over push everything down I'm I'm really bad at just crashing and flying I, I crash baby it then fly again <laughs> but it it doesn't save you from all damage that was my original mobile frame ended up trimming off the ducts just to get the vibration out on the second I haven't broken the second yet but I got the V2 waiting because I know it's bound to happen we get how close of a tolerance there is between those stators and those windings those I mean the winding stators and the magnets so excited I can't even talk right beautiful little compartment under here oh wow all of our screws and I was smart and I already went ahead and I ordered my uh, XM S bus receiver because I am a trainist guy I don't fly team fail safe sorry it amazes me what they can fit this on now pretty small between everything here I don't know if I'm going to do the LED because in my opinion LEDs look cool but it's wasting power even if this only took one milliamp to run my whole flight I want that one milliamp to be in my flight but teach their own LEDs are cool and plus this is probably I bet this is 0.2 on the scale at least every point counts with a brushless whip but that was my unboxing for the uh, quad box mystery micro and I hope you enjoyed if you made it this far please like comment subscribe and uh, encourage me to keep making these videos because I love drones and I love ripping these things and I want to share what I do because there ain't nobody to share this around here
But uh, have a happy New Year's and thanks for watching. Good night.